everyone, today I'll be doing the Solo Flawless on the Legend Shadow of the Realm, The Breeze of Dreams. This video is focused on getting the tramp called the Shattered Loner. And to complete it, you must complete a legendary Shadow of the Realm by yourself. There is no Solo Flawless required for this tramp. For my loadout, I'll be using the Bottom Night Stalker with Gambler's Dodge. Kinetic, I'll be using Will of the Horde, the Trinity of Heaven or Tyranny of Heaven Solar Bow with Explosive Payload. Next, I'll be using the Tarantula with Box Breathing. Next, I'll be using Tem Ability, Grenade Launcher Ammo Finder, Taking Charge. For the arms, I'll be using the Overload Bow and Stop All Fusions, well, Linear Fusions, with the Shield Break Charge. Next, I'll be using the six coyotes so I can get the second dodge charge with the sniper, damage resistance, concussive dampener, and ten mobility with protective light. Now, next, I'll be using the linear fusion scavenger with the arc mod I am forced to use so I, so I can get the powerful friends to get plus 20 mobility. Lastly, I'll be using bomber particle deconstruction with the five resistance so for this week the debris of dreams the door opens on the right side we have to activate two of the beacons and then the final beacon would be the boss now the big difference for the legend is the scorns are they can melt you one two you can't change your loadouts or your self class they lock all the weapons in your armor in three for the modifiers, there is the shield of foes where captains will have different shields as in arc, void, and solar for each beacon. Now just to let everyone know, so I'm sure everyone will be a little confused. So for the first beacon, mainly the captain, well, captains will have solar shields and one captain will have a void shield. Then the second beacon... It's going to be all arc shields, which is why I am using the Tarantula Linear Fusion Rifle instead of the Threaded Needle. Now, if you are on Hunter, you can just use the power and visibility and just pass through these enemies and then just make it to the beacon. For Warlock and Titan, you will have to take time to just clear down ads as much as you can and just go to the first beacon. Well, mainly the ads will be Scorn, and they will spawn, so you can see that there are Corrupted Captains where there are Solar Shields. There's gonna be the Screeps, well, they can explode on you, and they can lead to a big death. And if you are familiar of the Screeps from Hollow Layer, then this is just gonna be basically almost the same as Hollow Layer, where these scripts can follow you and then explode when they are nearby you. So there's these innocent, deadly tickers. Well, I like to call them that because they remind me of Gears of War, uh, two or three, etc. Now more waves of ads will spawn, we will have champions, mainly overloads for the first beacon. Now like I said, be aware of your surroundings and I don't think I did put too much music for this one. If you are having trouble hearing your surroundings, I highly recommend to just turn off the music and the dialogue. So like I said, there are a couple of solar captains, the corrupted captains, and you guys know these guys, especially from last week. And these stalkers, where they can actually have these mini scribs spawn. I'm just joking. They don't for this, I'm sorry, because when I do see stalkers, scorns, I feel like they're going to have these exploding little screeves where they can destroy me. And I have to remind myself that this is not Hollow Layer, this is the Shadow of the Ram, and there is no modifier where these mini evil little exploders or tickers, I like to call them, where they can destroy me. Now, 
like I said, there is one Void Captain, which you must be aware and save your nade to, or you can use your super to take the Captain down. But since we are using the power of invisibility, you can just run around the map, use Will of the Horde, and then just make your way to clear ads and just lead them. You can also push the ads to the Will of the Horde if you are invisible. Now, like I said, there is just one captain, and they do behave most likely in Nightfalls, where these captains love to move around and shoot, so be aware that this mini, well, this captain can melt you if you are not careful. So as I said before, there is no solo flawless to get the tramp. You can die as much, well, many times as you want, and you'll still receive the tramp, so... Now we're at 56% and there's going to be more ways of ads and we're going to deal with these corrupted well, the guys where they push towards you and they can use stasis to freeze you. So as I said, you can use your super or you can just spam Will of the Horde. I was just trying to lead them towards my Will of the Horde so I can easily take them down as much as I can. If you are in small health, well red health, you can just quickly turn invisible to regain your health and then just proceed to take down the ads. You can pop a will of the horde and then turn invisible. You can push enemies to the will of the horde but be aware of the scrapes where they can melt you if you are not careful. I would say around 3 of them can destroy you. So as I said before, for the first beacon, it is Solar Captains, and the second one will be Ark. So be super aware of these ads, and you can just turn invisible if they are too close, especially these guys where they just push towards you and start to be very aggressive. There is really no time limit. You can take as much time as you can. For this run, this was my second attempt and then the first attempt at the boss fight because I was trying to figure out what to do with the tank and then I figure out, well, we can use the power will of the horde. So this is the last overload champion and it does seem to act familiar from Hollow Layer Nightfall where these overload champions do love to shoot and then walk away and then push towards you. We finished for the first beacon and I am just scouting for some ammo. I highly recommend to go activate the bridge and then activate the true sight. Reason why is you can go on these platforms and be invisible. You just can easily pass these ads without any interruptions. So if I'm Warlock and Titan, highly recommend just keep running for your life so we can go to the second beacon. And you can see here I have around 15, 14 seconds. And it makes life easier just to go to the second beacon. So anyway, if you are having trouble going to the second beacon, highly recommend just to use the bridge. And I'm sure everyone already has it from the vendor. Now we're going to activate the second beacon and this is the one where I'm sure a lot of people will have trouble. There is a lot of arc here and unstoppable champions. So if you are using Will the Horde, which I highly recommend, you can just pop a Will the Horde and then use your arc heavy, well, tarantula. And Will the Horde will do DPS at these captains. Another thing I'd like to mention for the se second beacon is there are a lot of corrupted snipers and even in a nightfall they can still melt you even in this difficulty for legend. So be aware of the snipers and highly recommend to have sniper resistance because the snipers do like to snipe you from far right side. 
when you do pop the shield of the captains, you can just use a tarantula for it to be staggered for a couple, well, one second, and then use Will the Horde. You can also use the finisher if the captains, corrupted captains, are low in health. Once you do, you can just use invisibility, or if there are no ads surrounding you, then you can just proceed and run around the map. Now, I haven't found any cheese spot to just stand and just clear down the ads. Like I said, this was my second attempt. For me, what worked for me was just running around the map, but like I said, be aware that these stalkers can throw void grenades, our captains can be very aggressive, move around, and there are corrupted void snipers that can shoot you from far away from the map from the back right side. And you can see I'm trying to be very very careful with the stalkers. They don't have mini scribs that spawn when they die, but I keep thinking they do spawn and they don't in this video, so... Yeah, just to let everyone know, they don't spawn, so... <laughs> I think I'm a bit traumatized by the hollow layer with the GM solo, but... You know, it... I mean, it's unfortunate, because to be honest, I only had like two days. And if I had like more days of my life, and if I was a streamer, maybe I could've get it done. So, two unstoppable champions will spawn from here, two of them. You can easily just use Tarantula and take them down as much DPS as you can. You can turn invisible if the unstoppable champions are not staggered anymore because they can melt you pretty quickly if they are using their arc attack. Now, the one thing I would say these unstoppable champions, they don't stomp, or if I'm wrong, comment below. But they do like to spam their arc at you, you have to be super cautious with them. And then one thing I don't like about these unstoppable captains is when you're using a linear fusion rifle, the hitbox is very, very small and very annoying, especially if you're trying to DPS them from far away. It is very frustrating. And then when you have the aim assist on console, it makes it 10 times worse. So, like I said, there are stalkers that love to throw nades, and if you are getting a lot of death from these stalkers, highly recommend to put void resistance with the sniper resistance if they are one-shotting you or two-shotting you for some reason for uh, the legend Shattered Realm. So as you can see, I got frozen here, I decided to pull back, and there is a couple of these corrupted ragger if i pronounce it wrong i apologize and they can use stasis and freeze you and they can they can destroy you if you are not careful now as i mentioned before there are corrupted void snipers very soon i've shown you when they will spawn so far i haven't heard any of them they do spawn from the right, and you have to be super cautious with them. Now, as I said for the second beacon, mainly there are a couple of arc shields throughout this entire section. Now, as, I, as you guys know, once you clear down a couple of ads, there will be another final unstoppable champion that will spawn very soon. So now I'm just taking down these stalkers, the evil stalkers, where they could spawn mini scripts. Just kidding. And like I said, be aware of the art captains. And another thing, well, I don't have the footage. I don't think it happened in this footage. Well, unstoppable champions can hop around on the top platform and the bottom platform. I don't think in this footage it happened, but on my first attempt, it did start to hop around. It was kind of like baffling and then they destroyed me. 
because I got distracted by them and the void nades while well, the snipers got me. It happened to me, but I don't think it was in this footage. So as I said, there are these corrupted raiders, the evil snipers where they could one shot you. Well, they don't so much in this, uh, this activity, well, for the legend mode, but always be aware of them and take them down and hide behind a mini wall so you can easily take them down. Now here, I was just being very careful with the snipers. And like I said, stalkers love to spam nades, so be aware of them. And be aware of the corrupted radar sniper, where it shoots void snipes towards you. I was hearing something. So then I was assuming there's an unstoppable champion. I was right, I heard unstoppable champion stomping and decided to destroy it as fast as I can. Now the third unstoppable champion can be extremely sneaky. Sometimes I don't really look from the bottom left side description when uh, the unstoppable champions appeared, quote unquote. And sometimes I am a bit careless of trying to see when would the champion spawn which is why i try to turn down the music so i could actually hear the footsteps and i know it sounds silly but that's how i play on my solo runs all right so we destroy the ads and now we can go to the final beacon the final beacon is pretty much a joke of where it is so the third beacon is actually on the way top of the tower to the left side so you can actually just go to these mini platforms which i bounce off for some reason i'm not even wearing stompies and it bounced me off you can go up here and i was trying to see if i can get a couple of tarantula ammo but then it didn't work out because i didn't saw a captain looking at me and i said nah i'm just gonna go this way <laughs> so i was just being super cautious because i did saw another scrib and i was just trying to be very very careful because i don't want them to destroy my run and then i have to start all over again and i did not want that to happen so at the boss fight, there's going to be void shields of captains. And this was my first attempt at the boss. So when you do, from what I, from what I heard uh, from my clanmates, if you do break the leg and it starts making a bubble, then void captains will spawn. Now I was just trying to see if I can just take down the leg and then I thought about just using will to horde instead of just trying to take down the leg I didn't want as a spawn so I decided to turn invisible and then just use will to horde and body shot the captain and of course use the power of throwing grenades to get your smoke back so as i said before there are void captains and you can just turn invisible and then just use will the horde to body shot the tank or the walker so now i am just throwing a nade getting my smoke back and trying to get my grenade back and you can see I am just throwing the smoke I'm trying to see if I can find a good angle to do DPS at the tanker like I said this was my first attempt and then suddenly I found this nice little spot where I can use my smoke take a little cover and then just not destroy the legs and then just make sure I body shot the tank and then use smoke, do a little dodge 
and then proceed to the next method over and over again. So I did song our captains, well, void captains, but I simply just ignored them. Mainly I just want to take down the boss. There are a bit of those lurker scorns. I do recommend to take them down if they are bothering you because anytime, well, you could possibility melee them instead of throwing a smoke to turn yourself invisible. Now, if you're running out of dodge, highly recommend to throw your nade at the body of the tank and then just spam the smoke over and over when you're hitting the tank with your grenade. Pretty simple method. And I decided to just stay around in this little area, this closed area, because it looks like that if you are not destroying the lake, then no waves of ads will spawn, and you can simply, like I said, just ignore these ads, and then take down the spider tank. So as you can see here, the power of Hunter, the invisibility, and let's be honest, I'll be really honest with you, I'm really fed up with being Night Stalker Hunter. <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, but I am fed up. I have like these moods where I just want to go on Warlock and Titan, but, but yeah, you know, everyone has those moods, alright? And yeah, the power of Hunter. You can turn invisible and then use your grenade. Now for Warlock, you will have to pull back and then use Will of the Horde. Well, to do DPS at the Tank Walker. And of course for the Titan. So always try your best to avoid destroying the Walker Lake. That way you can avoid multiple waves of ads. So there you go, guys. We finally defeated a Walker of... Basically just spamming invisibility, throwing a nade at the walker, and having a hundred mobility for Night Stalker bottom tree. So we finally got the tramp called the Shattered Loner, which will be showed uh, here. There we go, complete legendary Shattered Realm by yourself. And there is no requirement of solo flawless. So thank you so much for watching and hope you guys will enjoy the event and in this video. Bye.